Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So at the end of last month, Microsoft officially confirmed that this year's annual feature update, Windows 11 25H2, will be rolling out later this year. And currently, as I've been posting, 25H2 is being officially tested now in the dev channel, in the Insider program. I'll leave two videos related to all of this linked down below and in the end screen if you would be interested. Now, one of the features that is available for testing is a new group policy setting that will allow you to remove some of the default apps that are bundled in Windows 11 that are available from the Microsoft Store, which for a lot of users are often regarded as bloatware. Now, if we head over to an image regarding the new group policy editor setting, we can see it's called Remove Default Microsoft Store Packages from the System. And, and if we have a look at the description, it says, if you enable this policy, the selected Microsoft Store apps in the provided list will be uninstalled from the system. You can make adjustments to the default settings. Unselected apps in the list will not be removed. Default is disabled, key not present. If the policy is disabled or not configured, no default Microsoft Store packages will be removed from the system. Now the group policy editor, as you may well know, is only available in the Pro edition of Windows 11 and not your home edition of Windows 11. And if we have a look at some of the apps, that would be calculator, camera, media player, notepad, sound recorder, terminal, and a whole lot of different pertaining to Xbox. Now, the reason I'm mentioning that this is only available in the Pro is because as you may also be aware, a whole lot of these apps, if not all, can be uninstalled from the apps and features list in Windows 11. So if we quickly just head over to our settings, apps, installed apps, we can see that calculator is one of those apps listed, it can be uninstalled. Camera is another app listed, it can be uninstalled. Media Player is another app that's listed. It can be uninstalled. Notepad and so on. So those can all be uninstalled from the actual apps list in the settings. So there could be a good reason why Microsoft is making this available in the Group Policy Editor. Because as mentioned, Policy Editor is only available in the Pro Edition. So this is mainly going to apply to system admins and IT admins in corporations and enterprises. Because as I've just shown, you can uninstall most of these, if not all, from the apps and features list. But I think this is a nice configuration for RT admins where it's a one-stop shop. So you don't have to go to apps and features and click on uninstall this app, uninstall that app. That can be, get quite tedious. So you apply this one setting, you t check all the boxes, and it'll get rid of that so-called bloatware, which to some extent or the other, in most cases, is not needed in a business or a corporation and enterprise environment. So it kind of makes sense why I think this is available in the group policy editor. So if you do find yourself um, as a system IT admin or in that environment, I think this is definitely a step in the right direction just to make things a whole lot quicker. But as mentioned, you can get the job done in the home edition and the pro editions by simply just heading to your apps and features list to get those apps uninstalled. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.